All right. Give me one second just to check that everything is up to par and working. Because this is the first time that I live stream on the Xbox in a while. And it's for good reason. <laughs> oh man, I am so stoked right now. And it's for good reason. <laughs> okay, hello. And welcome. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, Welcome to... Monster Hunter Wilds. We are streaming the uh, beta test today. And I am going to live react to every bit of this. Oh my god, I have never been more excited for a game in my entire fucking life, dude. Like, dude. <laughs> I have all my snacks ready, I have my water ready, I took a bathroom break before I came here so there's no interruptions. Oh man. I'm so freaking stoked for this game. It's not even funny. I've been seeing a lot of pictures online of other people playing this, and they say that on Xbox it runs pretty good. I decided to go Xbox, mostly because I have one in my room, and I realized that it would not run on my PS1, uh, not PS1, my uh, PS4 Pro. So, uh, yeah. We are going dead in. I agree to the privacy policy. Yes. <sighs> okay. We are going to live analyze this. And I'm live streaming this because I just want to see how it is so far. I'm going to get back to world probably tonight. Just to the lowest luminosity. Uh, okay, so adjust while facing screen head on until there is no difference between the light and dark areas in the grid pattern. Uh, I don't understand that. That would be this setting right here. Adjust while facing the screen head on until there is no difference in the grid pattern. Well, that would be there. Adjust the brightness of the screen until the symbol on the left is barely visible. Oh, they're really, really... Wow. Well, for me, I do have vision problems, so I'm probably going to go one. All right. Audio mixing, headphones. I'm not going to do voice chat. Um... Yeah. For a living room... At increased distance. Yeah, I'm playing at a desk, so that's not gonna fly. I don't need any of this. Oh, That is kind of sad, but that is very applicable. They actually had to add in an arachnophobia setting. Oh, man. That's crazy. That means there's fuck tons of spiders. Wow. I'm surprised they didn't do that in the world. Enable settings recommended for those who require auditory assistance. Mm. I'm good. I'm fine. Monster Hunter beta test is pre-release software. Please be aware that some platform game features may not work correctly and that crashes may occur. Totally understandable. <sighs> oh my god, here we go. Let me just uh, see if the audio is still working. Oh my god, here we go! Okay, so. We are here! We are here, we are here, we are here! Finally! Listen to that music. Isn't it magnificent? Oh my god. Already, this screen looks really cool. Very reminiscent of World. We are going to start the game right on. All right, what do we got? <laughs> okay, I am going to, I am a lady. Hey, I'm a lady. I am a lady. Change 
strange lady. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I think my appearance to start off with is probably... I would actually say this with paler skin. Ooh, that's cool looking, but that's really not me. Actually, that one. That one is probably more me or that one. This one right here, though, for sure. Because the other ones kind of look a little bit too... Uh... Okay, so that's a preset. So... I'm gonna go off of a photo this time because I didn't do that last time and I know that a lot of this stream is probably going to be used in this creative character thing but I basically want to make my character look like I do now so we're gonna find a photo of me to use as a reference using this one. Alright. Me eating a freaking burrito from, from today. So, let's see. Hair. I just want my hair to be long. This is cool looking, but I'm, uh, my hair is pretty long. This is probably the closest thing. Can we zoom out? hair base color. My base color is black. Though I am actually a natural redhead. Dark redhead, but still a redhead. Okay. And accent color. As of the moment, my hair is actually... I have pink in it. Trying to... Okay, there it goes. I have pink in it, so... I can't even see. Oh, there it goes. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, I have pink in it. Okay, it's not saving my thing. Give me a minute. I'm trying to figure this out. There it goes. My base color is black. Gradient ratio. My hair length. No, I want it to be super long. Yeah, right there. About right there. Skin. I am literally, I'm anemic. I have to be super white. <laughs> Skin texture. Let's see. about right there. I have very distinct facial expressions. And then I'm trying to make it look like me. It's just like really weird. Okay, so my eyebrow shape this is the closest thing to it. Because everything else looks a little bit too bushy. That one. Right there. That one. My color is going to be dark black. As black as it could go. Yeah, no. I have pretty distinct eyebrows. I have a very flat face, so... Yeah, about right there. 
brow height. It's pretty much where it is. I'm just going to probably heighten it very slightly. Brow separation. My brows are actually a little closer together. They're about right there. Inner brow height. Inner brow width. Oh, right. There. Yeah. Outer brow height. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Eyelash length, I think, is fine where it is because I have super thick eyelashes. I want to see up close. There we go. Okay, there we go. My natural lashes kind of look like this. Eye color. We are going with my exact eye color this time. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, so my eye color is about hazel. It's like yellowy green, like right about there-ish. Oops. Yeah, perfect, right there. Oh my God, it's starting to actually look like me. Sclera color. Iris size. I do always have larger irises. Separate sides for the right. Oh, it's for people with heterochromia. Nice. And then eye shape. Okay, eye depth. Right there ish. So I'm not really like. There-ish, yeah. Eye separation. A little bit closer. There we go. And then... Outer corner height. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, that... That... <laughs> That's me, right there, okay. I think I've got my... <laughs> okay, lower eyelid height. Because I always have this... My eyelids are really, like, droopy, so... I fold with... What does that do? Oh no, I have hooded eyes, so... Yeah. And then... My nearers. Yeah, it is definitely not. Nose position. I think it's fine where it is. It just needs to be adjusted. I do not have a large nose. I have very much a flat nose. And almost no bridge. It's kind of like... Yeah, even this isn't really working for me. And then I do have a pretty large right there. Good. And then nostril rotation. Mine are a little bit more upturned, like that. Okay, that looks better. That looks more right. Mouth is for sure way too huge. I have a very small mouth. I do have very high corners. My mouth that I for sure don't have lips that are huge and puffy like that. This right here is probably more me. And mouth position. And then lip thickness. Big juicy lips.
Oops, no, just kidding. <laughs> Let's see, mouth depth. Yeah, that pretty much is. Wait, hold on. I kind of feel like the nose needs to be slightly bigger. It still doesn't quite look like me, but... I do have, I smirk a lot, so it's kind of like, this would probably be better mouth position. I don't understand why it's so gross looking. I mean, that looks about right. Teeth stain color, I don't have stains. I literally paid money to make my teeth look the way they do. They're like coffee stain, that's about it. Facial hair. I don't have facial hair except for the small amount that I have because of my hormonal pumps. It still doesn't quite look like me, and I'm kind of upset about that, because I'm just like... <sighs> I just feel like... That's still way too big. Probably the five. Or wait. No. Wait, yeah. And then. I don't have huge lips so okay that looks better that looks more me right there okay physique oh face shape that's the other thing so I have kind of a combination of like your normal roundish face like this with kind of a point to your chin. All right. That actually looks pretty accurate. Almost accurate. According to the photo, anyway. And then facial length. I do have a pretty big face. Cheekbone depth. Oh. Yeah, I kind of do have big cheeks. Cheek fullness. Yep. A little bit less. There. Perfect. Okay. Jaw width. And jaw rotation. Chin length. Uh, I don't have much of a chin, really. I have a little bit and then a double chin. Chin depth. I have like 
no definition in my chin. Is it just me, or do I look kind of ugly as a game character? Oh man, no. Put that away right now. That doesn't look right, okay. Chin is slightly bigger. Okay, I think that one looks more accurate. Physique? <laughs> Physique! That should be fun. I have giant muscles! I sure as heck am not skinny. Yeah, that looks more me. I'm not really like ripped, but I do have some slight muscles because I've been working out. <laughs> they they bettered the jiggle physics. Cool. I guess. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's still off. Okay, let me go back to the mouth. That's probably my problem. Okay, that one looks so much more accurate. And then right here, maybe. Yeah, okay, that looks way more accurate. Because I have larger, droopier eyes. All right, let's do makeup now, yay! I actually kind of like what she's wearing now, honestly. Honestly, I feel like I want to keep the eyes the way they are, but if anything, I might just... The lip stain slightly lighter. Yeah, okay. That's better. And then... Face paint. Let's see what they have as far as face paint goes. I do like what she's wearing, though. I usually like to have some face paint, but in this case, I actually don't feel like it's necessary. I think this looks pretty accurate to what I kind of look like as a normal person. Almost accurate. Not quite, but I tried to follow my photo as much as I could. Because this, the nose is still too big. Like, even with me at zero, it's still way too freaking big. My nose is literally, like, a button. It's tiny. And they don't really give you the option to, like, shrink that, you know? So, eh, it's as accurate as it's gonna get. Alright. Now what? <laughs> Voice. <laughs> Impressive. Thanks. This is serious. Impressive. Thanks. This is serious. Impressive. 
That sounds a bit more me, but let me go a little lower. This is serious. Impressive. Thanks. This is serious. That sounds more like me. feel like this is more me every day and this is what I put out on Instagram <laughs> oh my gosh oh the sub menu sorry the face blender I was trying it out and it kind of like made it look weirder I mean this looks kind of similar to me but there's still some things that need to be adjusted I know it's not going to be a th like 100% perfect, but I think this is what I'm going to go with. I actually really like how she looks. Now, as far as my walk goes, should I go confident or should I go graceful? I think graceful. Yeah, right there. Clothing. Let's see. Oh, we have the option of going with, like... This looks more like what I would wear. I like this outfit right here, but I feel like this is more me. I've always been kind of a tomboy. So, let's see. purple for all of my characters this time I think I'm gonna go pink like purpley pink almost yeah like about there yeah Yeah, I like that. Actually, this looks pretty cool together. I look like a fucking pirate and I love every second of this. Okay. Underclothes. I am very modest, so yes, I will be wearing an undershirt. An undershirt. And it's gonna be black. Starting armor. Hope. <laughs> that looks so cool. I do like this. But it kind of makes my hair look weird. I like the idea of the graceful hunter. That's modest. Yes. Wow, you can actually choose between.
I think I like that. Yep. Alright. Calico time. I think I like how she looks. And I'm gonna keep it. I'm not, I don't want to spend forever on this. Let's see. Meow, 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 meow. I like that one. Okay. Detailed settings. Long haired. My palico is gonna have giant ears. I do like the ear hair. That looks cool. Eyes. Okay. I want my kitty to be a happy kitty. One. I do like. This one. That looks cool. We'll kind of make him look similar to me. Still looks brown. It still looks kind of like. Slightly purple, but not too purple. Okay, why does it still have... Why does it still have that marking that I didn't want? Go away. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Big Muse! 
Well, it gives you the option of feline language. That's pretty neat. I actually think this time I'm going to turn off feline language. Because I have played with feline language for all of my time of playing this game. And I have half the mind to see what it's actually like to understand what your feline is saying. You know? Look at us! Aren't we cute? Oh my god! Enter my name! Yes, okay. My name is... Well... What do I want to use? I'm going to call myself Burel. That's what I have myself set as in my uh, PC Monster Hunter World playthrough. And honestly, I kind of feel like it is very much a name that I'm going to be using from here on out. Burel. My Palico's name will be... Poogie. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go with... I'm trying to think. What would be a good feline name? Hmm. I think I'll call her Pinky. She's kind of pink. And my character is kind of like referring to a color. Let's see. All right. We're gonna go in now. <sighs> Just letting this sink in for a second here. Yeah, okay. Oh man. Let's do this. Alright, that does look and sound like me somewhat. It's not gonna be 100% perfect again, but this is the closest I can get. Windward Plains. Nothing so far. Ah. Oh, hey there. Hey! Your reputation precedes you, Hunter. I trust you know what I've called you here to discuss. Yes, sir. The Forbidden Lands? Indeed. But more precisely, about the boy we rescued in the vicinity. Entry to the region itself has been restricted for a thousand years. We thought it completely uninhabited. Any remnants of its ancient civilization rest solely in historical record. Now imagine our surprise to have discovered this boy. He claimed to be part of a clan, the Keepers. He said they have a village in a land we thought uninhabited for ages. A few years have passed, but the Academy, of course, has remained skeptical. This village, is there evidence it exists? Nothing absolute, but the mysterious composition of the boy's pendant suggests it might. And, as for how we came to rescue the boy... Sir? It seems a certain monster had forced him to flee. It attacked his village, and he escaped alone. Unfortunately, the underground tunnel he used to make his escape collapsed. We found him, took him in, and here we are. Do we know the status of the village? Unknown. And of the monster? Unknown. However, the scholars hypothesize that it may be a monster which we thought to have perished long ago. An extinct species? 
They're calling it the White Wraith. The Guild has authorized the rescue of the Keepers and an investigation into this monster. I've selected you as a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. All right. Finding the village won't be easy. You'll need the proper guide. Speaking of which, I have an extra assignment for you. Hello, my name is Alma. Come on, it's okay. As we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great! You bet. <laughs> yeah. I hope we find them soon. Look! <sighs> oh, shit. Hard to park! There it goes. There it goes. Okay. I, I got confused for a moment. 
yeah, bitch. <laughs> that is so, that is so exhilarating. That was probably the coolest thing I've done in a while. Holy cow. What do I do? for this region being uninhabited. It must be a type of flight disorder. Isai... He's still in trouble. Isai... We were doing... sacred practice. But then it came... And my brother... He... What came? One of the things that was chasing you earlier? It's okay. And your brother, where is he? He told me to run. And he stayed. Sounds like trouble, yeah? Can you tell us where he is? The sacred. He knows Isai's scent. Let's find him. I'm with you. Everyone else, focus on scouting for a campsite. Mm. Understood. Just send a signal if you need backup. <laughs> we'll leave some supplies for you. I'll keep an eye on these two. <laughs> We're moving out. Coming. I'm not a bus sword user. Take these people to safety side. We're counting on you. Come with me, okay? Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Come on. So all these kids getting fucking left behind. Holy cow. <laughs> we should prepare a bit, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The supply box. My best friend. My pal. Oh, that's right. Have you decided on a weapon? I know. I know, sweetie. I, I know. Wonderful. In that case, equip yourself and we'll be on our way. All right. I think that for this particular one I don't know when we get to do the double the double weapon thing I am very good with sword and shield sword and shield is literally like the weapon I am absolutely the best with but I've been seeing people be complete badasses with the charge blade so I'm gonna try charge blade this time around you can try out and then I can always get here. some sword and shields Once you've got to go for the weapon we can head back to camp if you need to change your weapon. Hold on. Gotta get used to this again. The, the battle mechanics are slightly different. That's the charging. All right, I got it. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I'm I'm a charge blade user, and I'll see a sword and shield. But um, have you chosen? 
All right. I don't have supplies? Am I not gonna get any? Can I get into the supply box and grab something? Okay, I guess not. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there's scout flies! There's scout flies in this. That's cool. Alright. So. Use that button to mount the secret. And you will move automatically towards your objective. Alright. Alright. Wow, secret, secret. Secret are quite intelligent. Give them a scent and they'll follow it on their own. They're fast, too. Oh, look! Mushrooms! Are those Mandragoras? I'm just... I'm admiring all of this. This is great. This is badass. I like this a lot. I might just do charge blade this game.
Press RB while holding LB to focus. Okay, RS to aim, RB to focus strike. Oh. Ah, okay. So LT focus mode, RS to aim. There you go. Wow. Oh, it actually shows the moves. It shows them. That's crazy. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to remember how to retract my sword so I could... Oh, I guess it's out of vials. Okay, it's okay. Just keep going. Okay, during sword mode, use RT to time your weapon. to this. There we go. Just 
So my guess is that these people are kind of like a pacifist type of people. They don't hunt. None at all. They like coexist with nature, and that's why this guy was kind of like freaked out that I was able to kill the thing. You must be Isa. Oh. Please, this way. Okay. Hey, Hunter. Back already? Good work. Hey, your sister's just over there. She's been worried, Sec. Hurry. This is a pretty well protected spot. We could do a lot worse for an interim camp. <laughs> I mean, it's. Y'all built it pretty quickly. Quick Damn. I'm telling you, we just need some space. She's fine. What she needs, after which care. we're perfectly capable of. <laughs> Nona! <gasps> Isai, you're okay! <gasps> Thank wins. goodness. You see, she's fine. Now, Scram, go. Back to your stations. We'll pull us in later. 
<laughs> I like her. It's like, go away. I didn't properly thank you before. Everything just happened so fast. I, I didn't know what to say. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. So they're kind of like a, a tribe, from what it looks I'm like. I'm Isai. My sister and I are from a nearby village. My name is Nona. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm Alma. The others and I are here on a search. We're from a place far out west. Let's see. Oh, it's having us, uh... How did you end up in that situation back there? Oh, it was all my fault. I was careless. I was helping Nona with riding practice, and the Chatacabra snuck up on us. I told Nona to run for it while I got its attention, but when my sacred and I tried to get away, he slipped, and we fell into that cave. And Damn. so, uh, who exactly are the two of you? Oh, right. We must have really surprised you earlier. Forgive me for my lack of understanding, but do you use those tools? I... I've never seen anything like that before. Back where we're from, specialists use these tools to protect others from large creatures. With the understanding that they're never to be brandished at other people, of course. Only those with yes. special permission are allowed to use them. Like me! Uh, tools? Specialists? Permission? It's all new to me. But I'm just glad you were there. And I'm glad I was too. Where's this village you say you're from? It's just a short distance away by Sacred. Nona and I live there with our grandmother. Would you happen to know of a tribe called the Keepers? The Keepers? No, I don't. Sorry. I see. Well, that's okay. We're actually helping our friend here find his home. His people. They're called the Keepers. The Keepers, huh? Hmm. Sorry. I don't remember ever hearing that name before. But our elder... She might know something. Thanks for letting us borrow your sacred earlier. They were a tremendous help. Did you train them in your village? Yes. We raised them from eggs and trained them ourselves. They're invaluable to us as companions. <laughs> That's interesting. So it's kind of like stories. They really came through for us back there. I hear that Nothing in Monster Hunter right. stories, you're able to like raise a dragon from an sense. egg and then train and it to be your companion. Sense. But they're pretty tricky to handle, so not everyone's cut out for riding them. Take this guy for example. He won't let just anyone ride him. He's almost too smart for his own good. <laughs> so when I saw him take to you so easily, I was really impressed. He must have a gift. I won't do to keep you talking. Let's take a look at those wounds. Why don't we have a look around base camp? A little slow, but it's running pretty well. So, complete! Yeah. Oh, yay! I got guild points. Ten points, yay! Okay, so this is camp. Oh! Okay, so the beta test ends there. What you just experienced was the opening chapter of the story. There will be plenty more where that came from in the full release. From this point on, you're free to explore the Windward Plains. We hope you enjoy the expansive world of hunting and adventure that awaits in Monster Hunter Wilds. Of course I'm looking forward to this. Thanks for playing. I hope it lets me transfer my character. I really like how she came out. Hey there, Hunter. So it's basically going to let you fight the same monster over and over again We've for right now. 
fierce monsters with a nasty temperament here in the plains. As it's likely they're traveling in a pack, we've been authorized to deal with the threat before it gets out of control. Shagama sometimes act the Oh, it's that bear thing. Key to success is to make use of your surroundings. Try firing a large dung pod to scatter a packet to Shagama so you can focus on hunting its alpha. I've marked the target on your map. For now, let's make for that location. Take these two while you're at it. I'm sure you'll find them useful. Got it. A lobby has been opened, allowing you to check to play in multiplayer with other players. Have you selected oh. your weapons? If not, you can do so in the tent over there. You can equip tent. both a primary and secondary weapon. Use this to your advantage, depending on the situation. Okay, so... Okay, so it says you can equip a primary and secondary weapon. To change equipment, select the weapon that fit your needs. Switch to your secondary weapon and your Seiko's weapon sling. It's weapon sling. Okay. Okay, so primary. I am going to do... Sword and shield. Actually, I think I'm going to do sword and shield as my primary. And then the, uh, as my secondary, I'm going to do charge blade. in there. Oh, wow. Hunt the Grey Dow. Oh, so it's a... There's a few monsters. Alpha to Shogma. Okay, so... Grey Dow. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Shagama. So basically, oh, so it's not going to let me really choose. Oh, that one's like. Shagama. Okay, so it's not gonna. Oh, and you can change your appearance. That's neat. Okay. I think I'm ready. Quest creation unavailable. Okay, so, oh, you could just leave. Okay, so I take it that this is the forge right here. Working hard, sorry, I'm still prepping here. Okay, so this must be like provisions. Oh no, no, it's the, it's the canteen. That's cool. Alright. Let's try it. Oh wow. This thing just goes. Ooh. That is fucking wild, yo. That alpha is our target. The quest will begin once you've dealt enough damage to it. Got it. Oh, what the? Oh, no. No. Get out of there. Thank you. Okay, stay. 
Stay right there, sweetie. That plant is like harmful. Okay. I had no idea. Yeah, I made eye contact with it. Okay, so let me shoot a flare. My whiskers oh. are changing. <laughs> the weather's changing. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay, so there's like a certain way of doing this. Woo! 
in this game.
heal everyone. There we go. Just not really used to doing. The weather changes on periodic. Oh, so okay. I get it. All right. It's gonna go straight for. Does this bitch follow me on all my quests? Are you serious? Oh, it's that bird thing. Let's not deal with that right now. We're going for something else. We're not dealing with that thing right now. This is really cool though. I I am digging this so far. There it is. This is crazy. Hold. Glad you're in one piece. <laughs> that was funny. 
Oh god! Oh god! What's coming? Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> I fell right into a hole! Cool! Yeah! And it fell right on top of another monster, apparently. That's fucking hilarious! Oh my god! It literally just destroyed! Okay, y'all better hurry up and get your carbs! That was freaking hilarious! Oh my god! I was like, what's happening?! So this is like an underground area. Where does this path lead to? I wonder. <sighs> this is so neat. Like honestly, I'm like mesmerized by how incredible this looks. So I probably can't access this right now. Oh, I can. Cavern? fish. Yay! Nice. This is so interesting. There's so much to look at. Believe the size of this map. Holy cow. This is insane. Okay, so we're now we're out of the cave and back up in the area of where there's like the camp and shit over there. What you think we'll find? I'm going back in. I'm actually very curious to see what else there is in here. This feels very Assassin's Creed. I will say, just from like how it flows. 
that. I can't go in there, but wow. That is unbelievable. Area 14. Where's my secret? Let's see. How do I check the pouch? How do I check the pouch on this guy? I'll ride with you. I just I don't know how to check this the bag. Oh, oh no. No no. Oh, I am so sorry. Are you okay? I didn't mean to do that. Communication. Ammo. Fixed item. How do I check the call secret? I am now at the secret. The How do I gathered in your item box? So how do I set up a pop-up camp? Hey. How does she Mm. Oh, so she like comes with you whenever the quest is over. This is like so much to look at. Oh, we can capture these. Quattro. Interesting. Okay. Then what's over here? Oh. That's different. Oh, that's mining. That's... now. Bitch. What is this? That's also mining. Oh, that is really, really cool. I, I'm sorry if I've been a broken record on that regard, but dude, this is freaking wicked. I, this is like, wow. Incredible. Incredible, incredible. Oh my god, everything just looks so amazing. Okay, what I want to do is try setting up one of those pop-up camps. So how do I do that? Oh, I should probably sharpen my blade. First of all. Mine what? I just, I want to know how to set up the, the pop-up camp. Because it says that we can do so here. How do I... Camping kit. Okay, so, set up camp. Pop-up camps let you manage your items and equipment, serve as fast travel destination, and can be used as a return point after fainting. Ah. They also say not to set up a pop-up camp in an area where monsters can roam, because 
In this game, apparently, the monsters can attack your camp. Isn't that wild? Never experienced that before, but it is more realistic, so. Damn it. The one time I opened cheese, it's in almost a year, and I opened the bag wrong. All right. Oh. I do need null berry. Null life powder I'm definitely gonna need. actually store a lot. Beast gens. Oh, these are like... Ingredients. Mm. Mmm. So I'm guessing cooking changes in this game too. I have so much shit already. Damn. It's crazy. Can we craft? Oh, yeah. Absolutely we can. First aid kit. First aid med and honey. Hmm. Interesting. A lot of ingredients changed. Wow. Like, I... Absolutely love this. This, so far, is amazing. Healing support. Traps, defense, bow gun, equipment, materials. different this time around. We're adorable. <laughs> okay. This is nice. I'm really enjoying all of this so far. Grill a meal. Let's try that. Let's try this. Chatacabra has appeared, but it will also be leaving soon. Huh. I want to explore more. Just for a bit. And then I'll probably get back to playing World. I just thought that I would do this for, like, a stream because everyone's talking about it right now and I'm, like, super... Honestly, I want to play this all night, but I know for a fact that no, we're going to be very limited. Changing. Weather's changing.
what's this way? Oh wow! I just noticed! The map is like, it shows the elevation and shit! Okay, so that must be an oasis over there. Probably another pop-up campsite, but that just does not look safe. Oh wow. Honey. More honey. And then just getting some honey. Oh, what the fuck is that? That doesn't look safe. What are you? Wet fish. Our dinner. <laughs> so, okay, so this is area 13. Does it let us view the whole... Oh, wow! Okay, so there's two of this thing. Fuck that thing. What's this? I gathered some materials, water. too. Check your sacred's pouch. Song Village, home of the sand folk. Before we get fucking attacked. be where the uh must be where those people are from the ones that we just rescued and during the day there must be a lot more activity here travel area okay. uh, we probably can't explore any of this during the beta so that's probably why it's like that so this is a whole thing cool Ooh, oh they have timers there's like Oh wow, there's like not even a limited amount of like level. They're all like, it's kind of like Monster Hunter Go where they have like strength levels. Oh, excuse me. These two are moving together. This is, let's see. Is that the Oasis I was just at? Wow. Okay. So where is the actual city? When can I go home? <laughs> Detailed map. Let's see. Wow. This is like very thorough. The hell is this? Wow.
trying to find where we came from. Where did we come from? Where's the... Oh! Base camp. say like do we not have a village <laughs> let's maybe go kill another chatacabra just to like end the game for the night. Oh, look, it shows when the monsters are coming in. It has officially entered the area and it's also very strong apparently. Leviathan. There's no trap to coppers anymore? They only appear during the day. Oh no, they're right here. Let's go fight this Chachacabra. What are you? Oh! It's another hunter. Hello, other hunter! Oh my gosh! It's insane how much work went into this design. This is like, wow, dude. go. <laughs> Wait a second. It all looks so different. Please don't let it spot me. like we used to. I'm trying to do like a focus attack, but... automatic 
rock at me, isn't it? I'll go fight the other one. It's weird. It marked the wrong one. The, the one I was fighting was this one. Crazy. Let's see what you got. Last one. 
What's your move? My move is to sharpen my sword. why there's an arachnophobia warning. I mean, if I was arachnophobic, I'd probably be scared of those. Because my right is back there. There she is. Alright, he, brother. Coming right at me. Ouch. Oh, man. It was literally a, like a trying to surprise attack me. just randomly explore it'll randomly initiate quests and at any time you can just call for help it's actually a really smooth system i don't know why they didn't do that before all right <clears throat> let's see what we can then see what we can find oh shit What it's tracking. What are you? I have no idea how to pronounce any of these names. I haven't been to this area yet. Let's explore, let's explore, let's explore. 
this is such a huge map. And this is just the first map. Like, holy freaking unbelievable map. Oh, the other one's leaving soon. Isn't right. Oh, it's leaving in two minutes. By the time I get there, it'll be gone. Balahara. Balhara. Hair. Ball hair. I don't fucking know. This Zashagama is redonkulously strong. I kind of want to try fighting one of those other serpent creature things. A ball hair law, or whatever the fuck it's called. Just standing there. Menacingly. This is like very specific. I want to try fighting one of those ball ball hairy. Let's try it. Ball hair. I'll put the materials I gathered in your item box. Wait a minute. Let's try to go to camp. travel to camp and just admire the view wow this looks a lot like the environment from the movie I will say that straightforward the movie was very deserty like this Shagama didn't. Oh. What a breathtaking view. Uh, let's take a quick break. I'll check our supplies. Yeah, thanks. I think these might be tracks. I haven't eaten much today, hence why I'm eating a lot right now. Weather's getting bad, huh? What? What keeps happening? Oh! Oh, shit! Random sandstorm! Oh! A ray Dow has appeared! Oh, shit! causing the bad weather. Let's get the fuck out of here. We can't fight that. There's no way. Okay, I want to go fight one of these. So. Is it actually freaking coming towards us? We're not doing anything. The other one 
I was tracking left, didn't it? So I'm guessing that wherever that thing goes, it's like bad weather all around. that shit.
why did I do that? I'm an idiot. don't know is how the heck to check the pouch of the the uh oh lb left bumper no all right we're gonna get ready Here 
materials I gathered in your items. Oh, 
Oh shit, it's in the same area as this other guy. Thought I'd be able to jump off this time. having like awesome weapons like that. I'm over here stuck with a normal one. server than I am. Or they're playing on different systems. It's gonna be laggy. But it's fine. So far, this has been a very smooth beta. I'm like over the moon for this.
Wow, okay, this is a new area I haven't been to yet. Almost dead. That's cool. Oh, so you can attack while on its back. So I know a lot of people use this as a mechanism for like archery. Oh, it's going toward the other guy. This is actually so fucking fun. Alright, so I'm gonna go and investigate my weapons thing a bit more because... How is everyone else having such awesome looking weapon? How does everyone else have really cool looking weapons? see any difference. This one just looks better. It does look cool though. It looks like Viking armor.
speed sharpening level one. Okay, so my primary, I want it to be sword and shield for sure. And then for my secondary, charge blade is cool. I love it. I actually kind of want to try a quest with the long sword, honestly, just to see how it works. I do like how it is, though. Let's see. Oh, there are optional quests now. I am very happy with this armor right here. That looks cool. The problem is, is that I have a feeling I lost some important shit. Speed sharpening, bombardier, stun resistance. But then when I have... Stun resistance. Free meal. Oh. Master mounter. I'm gonna try this armor out though. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I didn't, uh, didn't get my items prepped. I do like this a lot. This is so cool looking. All right, so. I'll send an SOS. Let's see. Okay, let's move out. Let's have another hunt with no surprises today. <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. Let's find something useful. I adore this armor way better than the other thing. But I can set up a camp there. There it is. It's a very strong one. Did it. 
not an insect play? No, it's a hammer. Holy shit.
game that I completely forgot.
raid out or whatever. Knocked out by lightning while I'm carving. forging also where do I get my uh my like special treats and shit limit understood Let's see where do I get my is this the courier no that's the chef who's my dear How do I get my cow, cow, cow nut? Alahara has appeared. So where's the courier that gives you like all of your DLC shit? That's my question. Cause I have a lot of DLC that I bought and I'd like to use it now if I can. We're studying that creature. I'd best review similar species to get similar materials. <laughs> so. Meow, 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 meow. So this must be right here. That's the provision stockpile. Hmm. 
Hmm. That stinks. I wanted to use my, uh, my other weapons. What do I have to do to unlock the blacksmith? It seems like everyone else is wielding different shit, so it's kind of like... I turn it off. One more. Okay. Hold on, how do I, I find my hunter ID? Chat log. List. Oh, okay, so my hunter ID is Oh, this setting will not transfer to the full game. Ah. Okay. Wow. That is a lot of people. That is absolutely crazy. Look at how many fucking people there are. One sword and shield. There's a gun lance. We have one bard. So it lets you check what you had, like what you got. I'm really hoping it lets us transfer. Is it gonna let us transfer? Do you know? I really like how I look. And I don't want to have to redo this. join him. Try this one more time. Because I already failed once. But darn it. I'm going to conquer this.
Alright, where are you at? My order of the guild. A supply shipment's come in. Hope you find something useful. The weather is still crap. shortcut, I guess. Where the hell is it going? It literally just went somewhere without really even Oh, I guess it's taking me a faster route. starving. That thing over there looks 
looks fucking wicked. That rock thing. to get to the location. It's gonna be a big problem in the real version, isn't it? Just the amount of time it takes to get to places. Like, that looks so cool and otherworldly. My bad. I kind of experienced a bit of a farty there. It kind of like stopped for a moment and I wasn't sure what was going on. So, but again, it's a, it's a beta test, so you can't just fuck me. Uh, I ruined it for everyone, didn't I? I'm guessing that that Ray Dahl fight is not supposed to be winnable. I don't think you're supposed to win that until you have a stronger weapon. I'm glad you're all right. Take a second to restock your supplies before. 
I don't want to try that one more time, just out of curiosity, because... I know for a fact that it's not an Elder Dragon now. But why is that still so challenging? Why is that so hard? I'm very curious. I really want to play more. I really do. I'm like already eager. <laughs> I'm so eager. But for now, until the actual real game comes out, I got to work on ranking myself up on both the PlayStation version and PC version. Aw, they all died. We have the work on getting to HR999 and MR999. I guess I wasted my meal. So many flares. The menu for SOS kind of looks similar to Rise a little bit, in my opinion. I haven't played Rise in a bit. This one should be interesting. It seems like everyone else is getting their, like, you know, items, though. Your DLC. How do you make that work on this? Now commencing quest by order of the guild. Wow, what a view! More supplies have been added.
should look over there. Look over where? Here? Rock thingy. I gathered some materials too. Check your sacred pouch. something here. The music wouldn't be getting that intense unless there was something here. I'll see you back at camp. Oh, wow. New area that I haven't been to yet. Oh, it's almost dead. Wow.
I'm like so into this. Yeah, maybe. I'll have to check it out after this. Dude, all I had to do was lay the trap. Ugh. I literally ruined that for everyone. That is so stupid. Like, one stupid little mishap with my freaking movement there, and I literally oh, was downed. Right. Take a second to restock your supplies. Ah, okay. damn, that makes me mad. That was the luckiest I'd gotten with that thing. I really don't want to go to bed until I defeat that. I'm sorry, I just don't. Let's see. Yeah. I'm so mad, man. That literally was like the closest I've ever gotten. I just want to beat that Ray Dow thing. That's like the freaking only thing that I haven't beaten yet. I'm so mad. All I had to do was set the trap and make it trigger it. That's it. That's it. Now I know that Ray Dow cannot be electric trapped. That is a thing that I realized when I set my first trap down and it didn't trigger it. So I don't know why the other person thought that it would work. First off. It is a lightning monster. Why would a lightning monster be able to be trapped by something made of lightning? Makes sense, right? You would think that. And I didn't realize that until I set the trap down. And I was like, oh, this isn't working. Maybe it doesn't get freaking trapped this way. <sighs> it just amazes me how like, no one would observe that. Like, you cannot trap a Ray Dow. Oh, speaking of, I completely forgot to supply my thing. Are we at the moon rock? Yes, we are. How about the materials I gathered in your item box? <laughs> Oh, we 
have a bow. Someone's up there, so. Oh shit! It literally just whacked me. Seed. I need that. Might help me out here. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. Alright. Let's go find those guys. Alright. 
Make sure to grab anything the monster leaves behind. Sick. I love it. Alright, we're gonna heal up. Thanks! That helped! Let's shoot it down. Got one shot at this. Shit! It moved the last moment. Oh, that makes me mad. Almost 3 a.m. though. Take a second to restock your supplies before I should probably stop playing. I'm like super stoked. I might do another episode of this just to do that quest because honestly, I feel like I'm onto something. I think I almost have a strategy, but it is just really, really challenging because one hit from that guy carts you.
Okay, so I want to see the other armor sets first. So, first off, let's go back to this one. Okay, so this gives speed sharpening, divine blessing level three. That, I love that. Stun resistance and stamina surge. Let's see what this one does. Okay, so this is just a more feminine version, really same exact thing. Okay. Okay, so this does free meal, recovery speed, level two. Sagama's Might. What does that do? No, no, that's not... Uh, go back inside. Okay. The Shagama's Might. Let's see. Temporarily increases attack to plus 25 after a successful power clash or offset attack. So, it basically is just another way to get better. It's like a berserk mode kind of thing. That's pretty cool. And then I take it this is the feminine, feminized version. Yeah, this is the feminine version. This looks like Viking armor. It's pretty cool. So, this one now. This is cool looking. So, Master Gatherer. What does that do? Speed eating. That's something beneficial. Prevents knockback when gathering or carving. And then I take it, this is the feminized version. this, which is what I was wearing. So this gives no speed sharpening, but Bombardier, which makes the explosive weapons stronger and shit. Master Mounter. That, that feature is pretty cool. Oh, that's why I was doing so fucking terribly. So this is probably the best armor to wear for that fight. Cool too, but all 
the outfits match together. It's pretty cool. So less physical damage taken because of my weapon type. You know, this this fight, I actually kind of want to try the longsword as my secondary. Just to see how it does. I want to, I'm curious. We're gonna try that quest one more time. Understood. Might go exploring after I fail one more time for a little bit. I mean, I like that other armor, but I just don't think that the ability is something we need right now. What we need is divine protection to keep us from carting. Oh, they added a new one. There seems to be a lot of people trying so hard to beat this thing, and they're all failing. Like, this has to be like some sort of challenge of a fight for that many people to try it and fail. why I'm saying I want to try it one more time because we came really close that time but I ruined it by fucking carding at the last moment what it is about lollipops as of late they've been cutting the roof in my mouth ugh is that how I look gross <laughs> I love this so far I have to say this is probably the most challenging start Let's to a game what? I've ever experienced and I am enjoying every second of it. Like, this is the most challenge I've ever had in a Monster Hunter game. Ever. Thank you. 
think the key is to just injure it as much as possible. There's a thing that it lets you aren't working, but it's bound to happen with the beta. It's really not that hard of a fight if you just do things right. Okay. 
making that boom go run over. said this is going to be the last fight of the night and then I'm going to probably be going to bed. I've been playing this all night and I don't want to be playing it all night. Because after this I still got progress to make on uh, World. Before I even attempt to play this in its full potential I do want to beat World.
withdrew from the quest? Why? Over here, I'm your target. I literally can't hear a single thing that's going on. So it's really challenging. Set a bomb. Bomb set. Please don't let it spot me. Let's let this guy smack the shit out of it. So I can't even hear where it's at right now. Fighting a monster deaf is like really challenging.
block that. There are my traps. debate. I have one more monster. Thank you to the random dude. That was really good. And we didn't need those other people. Everyone else is like, oh, I'm gonna withdraw from the quest. No, bitch. Give it a chance. Give it a freaking chance. For real. I just can't get over how good everything looks. Look at this. This is so cool looking. It looks so like... Oh man. I, I, I can't even describe it. It just... This has been a very incredible experience so far. Like, honestly, if you haven't pre-ordered it yet, just fucking pre-order it, man. Pre-order it. Just do it. Don't even hesitate. Don't ask questions. Just do it. And I am glad that I chose the uh, version of this that I did because it is running super smooth and everyone that's playing on a PC is saying that the PC version isn't good. But that's just the thing about PC versions is that they always end up being buggy at the beginning before they end up being the game that they're going to be. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, am I wrong? Hard at work. All right, I really want to put. I see. Yeah, we've already done that, and that is great. This thing. I want to fight it. I want to see what it is. I want to see what it could do. This is the only monster Shall that I have not started? fought yet out of this pack. Can we just leave? I can't see past my whiskers. Wow, from the three feet. It's like it's strange how my character looks exactly like me. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't get over that. And what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm gonna start the quest and then I'm gonna fire a flare. Let's have another hunt with 
no surprises today. Those supplies will help with this quest. Let's be sure to use them. All right. So are we on the moon rock? No, the moon rock is over there. I want to see what's over on that moon rock. But right now we're on a quest. Is that moon rock anything? Really? I gathered some materials too. Check your sacred pouch. How do you... immersed in this game that I have not even checked my messages. Chasing 
us in the beginning. the long sword does. Try. 
officially completed all of the available quests right now. Let's check. How does it, like, tell you? Oh, it doesn't even, like, mark it complete or anything. Try hunting something alone. Before I end it for the night. Sorry, just taking a quick second. That's why a lot of people like the armor that I'm currently wearing. I guess it's because it provides that protection. What I want to know is how everyone else has freaking trank bombs and shit. That's what I want to know. It's not really going to let us do anything. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to try to hunt something alone. It's almost 4 a.m. Let's have another hunt with no surprises today. They've issued us surprise. Let's put them to use. The terrain here looks like a natural trap. Thank <laughs> you. 
lot of injuries that I need to destroy. inside the monsters anymore. Now you climb on top of the carcass. <laughs> That's great. I'm on top of the world by being on this Tatakabra's butt. 
And I do believe that this is where I'm probably going to turn it off. So, uh, if you enjoyed this stream of previewing Monster Hunter Wilds, then do shoot the channel a follow. It really helps. All I do on this channel, basically, is Monster Hunter and some adventure games and stuff. But Monster Hunter is kind of like my main squeeze, if you know what I mean. So, if Monster Hunter is your thing, then this is the channel to follow. I love talking Monster Hunter. I love playing Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter basically is like my life. And the only reason why I don't have any of the freaking figurines right now is because I don't have a shelf to put them. Otherwise, I'd have all the figurines too. But <laughs> enough about my fandom. Um, this has been a very good experience. I'm going to be playing it a lot more over the next few days just to play it, but I don't know if I'm going to stream it because I've already beaten every single possible quest, I think. So if anything new comes up, then I will be posting more. But for right now, this is going to be the only Monster Hunter Wilds stream that I will be doing for the time being. Tomorrow, I will be hopping back onto Monster Hunter World, and we are going to see if we can get to... 999 on both the PlayStation and the PC. PC first, though, because the PC is already conveniently plugged in. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So, you know, hop on by. But for now, I will be turning this off. It is 4 a.m. almost. I'm tired. So, I gotta get to bed. So, I will see you guys later. Ta ta! Oh, by the way, I have socials, so if you're interested in anything else that I do, I'm also a musician, I'm in a couple of metal projects, I sing metal music, all of that is down there, below. I have to update my links because a lot of th things have changed, but other than that, <laughs> if it's, you know, within your alley. So, bye.